Hi everyone, my name's Rob, I'm a smartphone filmmaker and today is one of the biggest videos I've ever made so far. This is a huge, huge Filmic Pro update. It is now compatible with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 and the OM 4. So all the gimbals now for the Osmo range, 1, 2, 3 and 4, now all work the same. Now the only difference is the zoom sort of toggle here on the side of the gimbal of Osmo 3. On the first one you don't have that. So to change through the different modes that you're using, you'll be using the M button instead of that one. So every time I say I use that one, the zoom rocker, you're essentially for the first gimbal going to be using the M button. Now, before I get into that, if you're new to this channel and you haven't been here before, I am Rob, I am smartphone filmmaker, and I do everything smartphone filmmaking to filming pro tutorials like this, through to accessory videos, short films that I make as well, and filmmaking tips for your stories as well to make sure that you make films that are really engrossing for the audience too. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so it really helps me with the algorithms and all that kind of technical jargon to get this channel noticed and out there and grow it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the tutorial for Filmic Pro being completely compatible now with Osmo Mobile 3 and OM4 as well as the rest. Let's get into it. So if you go into settings to pair this up first with your gimbal, go to Bluetooth, press the toggle so you're switching the Bluetooth on so it can connect to the gimbal. Make sure you have your gimbal turned on before you do this as well so it can connect nice and quickly. And that is already connected, perfect. Otherwise you just tap on that to connect it for the OM3. Come out of that and we go into Filmic Pro. Now to pair this up properly so you can start using it with Filmic Pro, you go to settings, which is the cog in the bottom right here, tap that, Press on Hardware, which is towards the middle of the menu there. And you've got DJI Osmo Mobile and the toggle on the right. Now when you press the toggle on the right, at the top you'll see Searching for DJI Osmo. So if we press on that, well I didn't even have time to do that, it was so quick. Then you've got the OM3, which is what you're going to pair Filmic Pro with. So that's your gimbal. So tap on OM3, or whatever your gimbal is. And now it says at the top, Connected to DJI Osmo. Now if we tap out of that, by tapping on the main home screen, we can now use the gimbal fully with Filmic Pro. So the joystick is a huge part of this, as is the zoom rocker on the left-hand side of your gimbal. So you're gonna be pressing that downwards to go through different modes that you can use on this Filmic Pro compatibility. If you're using the Osmo Mobile One, you'll be tapping the M button on your main kind of joystick pad, but on the rest of the gimbals, you'll be using the joystick on the left-hand side. So before we change modes, on the first mode it is pan, so we've got left, right, down and up, just as it was normal with the gimbal. Now if we tap down, we get the reticules on the zoom rocker. So if you press to the left, you unlock the exposure. To tap left with the joystick again, that locks the exposure. And for the focus reticule, it's the same again but in the opposite direction. So with the joystick, you move it to the right, that unlocks the focus. Slide it to the right again on the joystick to lock focus. So it's once to unlock, once to lock. And to move them, I believe you still use your fingers. There's nothing at the moment I can see where you have to move it with the actual joystick as well, which is a shame. Uh, if there's anyone that says otherwise and can prove that, then please do put that in the comments below. Always looking to learn. And with the exposure, yeah, if you unlock it by tapping it to the left, you can move it with your finger. So you can change the exposure still and then just lock it, same with the focus reticule. Now if you slide the joystick up to the top, you'll get the zoom in, so this is zoom in and out, and then zoom down with the joystick to come back out, up to go in with the zoom, down to go out with the zoom. Now if you press the rocket on the left again, we'll change the mode to the second mode, which is the larger reticule, so you've got the larger exposure and focus. To unlock these and lock these, it's the same as a smaller one, so you tap left for the exposure to unlock it, left again to lock, focus, slide the joystick to the right to unlock, to the right again to lock. Now the reason you want these unlocked is if you're doing more of a run and gun thing, so if you're in a chase scene, someone like running down a high street or something, this will kind of allow the focus to change, so you can pick up one person running as you swipe to the right again to pick him up going somewhere else, that will then pick up the focus from there rather than focusing just in one spot all the time. So we'll lock those by sliding to the left and the right. 
and then the zoom can still be used on this as well by using the joystick to go up and down. So if we use the rocket on the left of the gimbal to go down, we'll change to the next mode. So this is for exposure and your focus. This is my favorite part of the new update that allows the compatibility. This is what I'm really looking for is the focus. But if we look on the exposure, the ISO right now, if we tap to the left, you see you've got the moon button that makes it darker, the image, and the sun on the right, if you hold to the right of the joystick, that makes it brighter. And you'll see the shutter speed change as well. So if you tap on the shutter speed here, which is 148, ba -ba -ba, that's it. Lock that by tapping it and it goes red. That way, as you're using the moon and the sun to get it brighter and darker, you won't actually go out of that shutter speed. So remember, you have to double your frame rate, your frames per second, to get the right shutter speed for motion blur. So I've got my frames at 24 frames per second. And you want to keep that ISO below 100 to reduce the noise as much as possible. Ideally, you have the exposure below 100 for noise. But yes, the joystick is your main kind of changing of each function. And then for focus, that is up and down. So for up, you bring the focus away from you down on the joystick brings the focus towards you. So you see those leaves, how clear they are now, absolutely crystal clear, that's the focus. And then you push the joystick upwards to bring the focus away somewhere a bit deeper in the field. And then shadow depth for field, move the joystick down to get something nice and clear. So that's one of my favorite things about this whole compatibility is the focus, it really helps so, so much. Now, if you wanna change the speed of which your focus is happening, and your exposure changes are happening. If you tap on focus and slide it in towards the screen and you tap the right button, that will change the focus speed that you're changing with. So if you go to 10, the focus speed will change super, super quick, as you can see there, a bit out of control. And if you bring it down to one, you'll see even if I'm pushing the joystick fully, the focus is changing quite slow. So that'd be nice for a nice slow reveal on a character or a subject. And you can bring it back to, oh, if you bring it back to five, that's the happy medium for your focus changes and your exposure changes. And again, if we press on the zoom rocket on the left-hand side of your Osmo Mobile 3, two or four, or the M button on your Osmo 1, that takes you back to your pan, to your original mode. So it's left, right, for panning, up, down for tilting. You then got a second mode, which is the small reticules and the zoom. Third mode, the larger reticules for zoom uh, and focus and exposure. And the last one being your exposure with the ISO and focus. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have, you wanna see more stuff like this to do with smartphone filmmaking or be inspired to get into smartphone filmmaking with my Filmic Pro tutorials, etc., then do hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now, there is also another part of this update which is really big. I'll put a link for that to the Filmic Pro YouTube channel in the description below. It's about using your phone as um, a way to get the screen on your TV and things like that. So you can do a lot more with that control and external monitoring kind of thing. So I'll put a link for that in the description below. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Osmo Mobile 3 and OM4 is now fully compatible with Filmic Pro. Big news. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.